Hello, my name is Mike M0MSN and I'm pulling my hair out. Um, over the last two or three weeks, I suppose, um, a noise has crept up on, um, on 7 megahertz, uh, 20 and 40, I'll get it right, on the 40 metre band. See, noise um, on the 40 metre band. I've had some noise creep up on me on the um, on the 20 meter band. Um, not so bad on 20, certainly bad on um, on 15 meters, um, pretty bad on uh, on 12 meters. Uh, 80 meters is completely wiped out. And I don't know what to do about it, to be honest with you. Um, I'll play you this clip. Um, lots of QRM, uh, I'm guessing, um, from a neighbour's uh, property. They've probably purchased something that uses a war wart or a, um, an electric scooter or, or something that uh, requires uh, electricity, perhaps even a goldfish bowl. <laughs> I don't know, an aquarium of some description. I haven't investigated at the moment. Um, the last thing I want to do really is, is uh, go around door to door and ask neighbours, have you just bought something electrical or have you just uh, purchased something and put, is it plugged in all the time? Why are you uh, annoying me? Um, uh, you know, I, no, that's not the wording, is it? So what can I do? Is this something I can do myself um, before I am forced to knocking on doors and saying, um, what have you purchased? Can I replace it? It is making a lot of interference on the radiometer bands. So here it is. This is the investigation. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to see if I can solve it myself or at least dampening it down before I go to that uh, extreme. So let's see. Let's see if anything I can do. OK, I just quickly want to show you um, something um, on 40 metres and 80 metres band. Just recently, I've had this uh, really nasty QRM across the entire band. Um, it's either a war wart or, or something that a neighbour has purchased. I've checked my own house and with nothing plugged in and the main switched off on batteries, I still get the same results. By the way, if any of you know what that noise is or what it could be, please leave it in the comments below. I need to get to the bottom of this. So here we go. So this is what I've uh, come up with as a possible solution. I'm using uh, an MFJ noise counselling signal enhancer. That's what it says on the top of the tin. Other versions of this are available. Um, there's a QRM eliminator that you can buy on eBay for around 60, 70 pounds. Basically what this box does, um, if you ignore this, this uh, particular part of it, um, You've got an antenna gain, which is antenna input two or auxiliary. You've got the main antenna gain here and then a phase. So this um, amplifies or um, cuts the um, dB gain on your antenna. Uh, the same with, with the main antenna there. Um, OK, let me see if I can explain simply. Uh, how antenna phasing works. OK, let me grab a pen quickly. Um, so this is the place I have my main antenna vertical there going over to the house. OK, so this is the top line vertical going down to the to the ground. My 49 to 1 is here. The cable goes up and across. I think and I believe that my QRM noise is here-ish, OK? So what I've done is I've put another antenna, another 49 to 1 here. It goes across my fence and then down the side of my house like so. And the idea is to feed both of these antennas into a mixer box. 
and then you get one feed out. And I'll show you why you do it this way. So antenna one, or should I say antenna one and antenna two. Okay, and let's see why we do that. So antenna one, let me come across here. So antenna one and antenna two. Okay, antenna one signal comes in like so. It's very simplistic sine wave, let's call it. Okay. And antenna two has exactly the same. If I can draw it the same. Signal. Okay. So they're identical. So in this form, they're going to amplify what comes out of the box. So it's going to be two antennas feeding exactly the same noise. It will come out of the box exactly the same. There's going to be absolutely no difference to the QRM. It will be exactly the same. However, if I turn this upside down so that it is Let's see if I can do that sensibly or easily without. Uh, can I do it that way? Don't know if you can see this. Let's see if we can do it. Okay. You'll have to use a little bit of. Let's see if I can just quickly trace this. So this is the same signal, but the bottom one's now been inverted by 180 degrees. So this is zero degrees, 180 degrees. And what you get is a cancellation of the peaks and troughs. So if you're pretending that is a diaphragm running down the middle of this signals, the airflow or uh, or the RF is going, is cancelling each other out. You're basically getting silence out of this end. OK, but you don't want the, the sensing aerial or aerial number two to be as strong or as sensitive as the first antenna, because then you'll cancel out all signals. So the idea is that you move, which is why I've placed the antennas like they are. You put the second antenna closest to the noise, then you can turn the RF gain down on the second antenna, boost the first antenna if necessary. So the second antenna receives the same interference, but the first antenna will still receive the radio signals that are coming in the background. This one doesn't. So it doesn't cancel out the radio signals, but it does cancel out the um, the interference. Now, the problem is, again, it's calculating, can, uh, complicating it slightly. The noise is here. The antenna's closest to it. This one's further away, still receiving it, but it's receiving it fractions, and I mean fractions of a, sen uh, of a second later than the first antenna. So you need a phasing or an adjust on this device to move this signal forwards and backwards so that they're in perfect phase of each other 180 degrees out otherwise it won't cancel properly does that make sense let me know and the center button moves those two signals um, in and out of phase of each other okay they're not going to be perfectly 180 degrees out of phase because one antenna is closer to the source of the interference than the other. So you need to be able to adjust for that, uh, that time slip between the reception of the antennas between the two. OK, this is why you have a, a phase adjustment. Um, also, you have to allow um, for the gain uh, or the cut on the gain, whichever way around, to uh, so that you don't take out all of the signal. 
okay this particular one is because you transmit through this box uh, and this is the the delay um, before the the relay inside this kicks in um, why that's there don't really know you want minimum delay really but I don't know it is what it is okay so what I've got is a, an end fed half wave uh, which goes up um, approximately eight to nine meters as you can see and then is oops and, and then is literally all the way across the skyline to the other side of my property over there um, and this is the main antenna and before anyone makes comment it, the noise is not coming from the solar panels they've been there now for close on eight years and uh, never had a single bit of noise from them so there you go an enfed half wave so what i've done is i've put another enfed half wave where the dx commander normally stands and i've connected that up to um, 19 point four meters of wire this dx10 wire doesn't go up very far goes across the garden to the fence and then around the fence and the apple tree all the way to that corner of the garden and then up this uh, fence to meet my next door neighbor's property um, at this post here and then down a bit further to the 19 meters runs out which is about here-ish Okay, that has um, an SWR of pretty much uh, 1.5 to 1 on all three bands, which is good, is what I want. Um, and is a little bit uh, quieter on the S meter than the one that's aloft. Obvious reasons why that's the case. Um, so I have two antennas. So what I'm going to do is feed both of these antennas um, into an MFJ um, mixer. Okay, so let's uh, let's see it in operation. Let's see if it works. We have antenna two connected to the auxiliary input, our main antenna connected to the main input, and obviously our phasing. Um, let me just. Uh, turn this unit on and you can see instantly there's a, a major improvement it's not getting rid of it completely but what it has done is quieten the uh, the band down enough for me to um, see the different signals and perhaps even receive something reasonably well Let's have a listen. Okay. So let's let's turn the sound down a minute, and uh, you know, we'll just use the visual. Um, side of things to see what's going on so if i turn the um the gain down off the main antenna um you'll see that the the scope gets darker which is fine but i'm still receiving the signal the expert with the uh, usb2 and in fact it's cleaner okay if i turn the gain down on the secondary antenna you'll see whether you're getting the interference back getting the interference back and in fact if I take it out completely you see we've got all the interference back and then the signal and um, the noise is right back on the signal again listen listen to this we'll just come off frequency just listen to that noise so we'll turn the main gain down a touch turn the auxiliary antenna back up it takes a long time to get it perfectly in line Over. You like it 
So there we are. So you can see that that's probably taken out a lot of the interference. Um, now the phase, the uh, the button or the knob in the middle, if I turn that uh, in the wrong direction, you'll see that all of this uh, comes back in again because I've taken the two antennas out of perfect alignment with each other um, and they are now adding rather than subtracting from each other. Um, so I just need to move the phasing back. You can go too far um, and then it will be pointless. So, yep, there we go. So that's pretty much it. Um, I think we're just about there. Try again. Oop, I've gone the wrong way completely. As you can see, it's bringing it right back now. Um, let's try again. I think we are just about there. I think it needs a few moments to uh, to cancel. Anyway. I think you can see the the idea behind the uh, uh, the noise cancelling um, with the sensing antenna. Um, anyway, there you go. I think we'll play with that for a bit. Um, but if it gets any worse, I shall start uh, doing some um, DF um, direction finding and uh, we'll see if we can locate the source of the of the interference. Anyway, thanks for watching.